Assalamu alaikum, sister. Thank you for writing to our live session. As I understand your situation, you are married and you are a second wife. Your husband is your cousin. However, you initially did not want to marry him. Um, you had a lot of pressure from your family and you felt like you didn't have a choice. So later on, after protesting against it and telling them no, you finally submitted to make them happy and to fulfill their wishes. As you know, sister, in Islam, um, a woman has the option whether or not she wants to get married and to who, right? That's one of the conditions of marriage. You, you're free to marry who you want as long as the person is Islamically acceptable. So in this case, right, you wanted to please your parents, so you married him, but it was not what you wanted. Now, had you just said no and not submitted to their request, that would have been okay. But being that you did finally say yes, that was giving your consent. But just for reference, in Islam, a woman cannot be married without her consent. With that said, you're now married to him, and you do say you love him, but the problem comes in is that his first wife, according to him, is very disrespectful and greedy and she makes the house environment very toxic for him. And I suppose that's why he sought out a second wife was so he could have some peace and some companionship, which would be you. Additionally, you feel that at this point you should be having more time with him and that you should be treated differently than his first wife. And you said that he treats both of you equally and that makes you jealous a lot. And you base that on that you're not the same age because you're younger, you have a better background and education and an upbringing. Sister, when, when looking at and viewing various people who are Muslims, right? It's like, it's not based on age or background or education or upbringing. It's based on what's in your heart that makes you possibly a better person. You know what I mean? You know, are you humble? Are you grateful? Are you close to Allah? Do you, do you seek to help others? Do you do charity? Do you have humanity? You know, do you have, you know, a solid, a solid foundation? as far as your dean. You know, it's those types of things that, that truly matter. And, you know, just stating that, you know, you're younger and you have a better background and you're better than her and he should spend more time with you is actually kind of haram. You know what I'm saying? Because one of the rules and one of the, the mandates for a man taking a second or third or fourth wife is that he has to treat all of his wives equally, right? It states the third condition is that the man must be able to treat his wives equally and without having bias in favor of one of them over the other. Okay, so if you read in the Quran, you know, 4.3, we can realize that the purpose for which Allah allows polygamy is for the best interest you know, of the people involved. So with that said, your husband is following the commands of Allah. Your husband is, you know, doing what he's supposed to do and treating both wives equally according to Islamic law. So really, you know, you don't have a foot to stand on. Um, when you state that he should not do this because it's Islamically mandated. So sister, I'm sorry, you know, that you're feeling this way and I'm really, you know, concerned for your feelings, but you know, according to Islam, that is the way that it's supposed to be. And sometimes, you know, every woman is not cut out for, you know, living in a polygamous marriage. 
Um, so that's something that maybe you really need to think about. It appears that your husband may be trying, um, but then again, you had mentioned, you know, that she gets, his first wife gets upset if he buys you groceries. So I'm not sure if your husband's fully supporting you, but that's another part of it. He's supposed to support both wives, not just one, both. So if he's not supporting you, if he's only buying you groceries once in a while, you know, he's not following, you know, the Islamic law according to what a husband's supposed to do. So that's something else to think about. Sister, I kindly suggest, you know, that you please, please pray, you know, search your soul, see, see what it is that you truly want in life and in this marriage. Um, do you want to remain in a marriage like this? Are you happy? Is this what you plan for? Are you able to accept the fact that um, by decree of law that, you know, you're in a polygamous marriage and you and your husband is doing the right thing and treating you both equal? Or do you feel that you should exit the marriage at this point? It's really not fair to him if you were constantly pressuring him to do more for you than his first wife, right? Um, cause you're actually asking him to go against a law and that's, that's not fair. Um, and you shouldn't really do that to him, but I know this hurts you sister and I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what, however way to put it, but, um, inshallah, you'll get it figured out. You know, perhaps your initial feelings of not wanting to marry him, you know, you should have followed those. Um, and maybe you should revisit that. You know, maybe this is not for you. You know, some women just can't be in polygamous marriages. And you may be one of them. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You know, um, does it mean that you're weak? It doesn't mean that you're bad or wrong. or No, it just means that you know your, your limitations. So, sister, please think about all this. Um, please do um, know that your husband is doing what is right by a law for both you and his first wife. He's following, you know, the commands and he's following the rules for polygamous marriages. Um, and yeah, you might want to, you know, reevaluate how you feel and what you can tolerate and what you can't. And lastly, you know, there's a lot of um, polygamous marriages where, you know, sisters be, or co-sisters or co-wives and they become sister wives, they become close friends and they get along and they support one another and it's a beautiful thing. So if you feel that, you know, that's possibly something you could do with his first wife, that would be a blessing, inshallah. It would be a blessing for you, for her, as well as for him. So whichever way, you know, you decide, you know, to go, please do think about it, write down your feelings about it. Do some journaling, do some introspective thought, pray to Allah for mercy and guidance, and make a decision. We wish you the best.